work very closely with the youth service in uh, in town in, in Llanbarllen. Um, we have regular meetings, either formal or informal, where individuals are brought up in those meetings. We find out how things are going on outside of school, um, and we get told then whether we need to try to support somehow the individuals in school. Um, that's one of the main ways we, we get to find out what's going on really. We work closely along external, with the external agencies as well um, and if there are things going on possibly that we haven't been told about through the youth service, um, those that get raised either by social services or possibly in um, local resource solution panel meetings and possibly team around the family or on the child meetings are called as well. So that most of the information we get you know, externally um, it's very rare, I think, that we get pupils who are coming along to say that things aren't um, great at home. But again, that does happen sometimes. It could be a member of staff bringing up, you know, so and so looks a bit disorganised or looks very tired, doesn't look himself, thinks something's not quite right. And then it might be ahead of you speaking to that individual, asking what's going on, and then information might come out that we previously didn't know about. Um, so on that, you, we could see a number of staff have come to us with different. Um, concerns and from that then yeah we've, we've worked out there's things that are happening at home that they do need support with and then we might get in touch with the youth service or you know external agencies when we do need to do so there. There are some that are known to the young carers who don't formally seek support through young carers and also don't want any input via school. There are some that we are aware of that access young carers um, and Sally works towards our youth workers, work towards being able to have that relationship brought into school. Um, that's our ideal, that, that we, yeah. we are aware and they are aware that we're aware, but sometimes we have to work from afar so we've just got that information. Mm -hmm. Should anything arise where we know then that we would go means about trying to um, get that information freely from the children so that we could support really. So sometimes it's just a case of just monitoring isn't it like you yeah, said. Yeah without the child knowing sometimes or you know it might be going the extra mile by giving them extra praise knowing that things aren't quite right at home. They might just expect, accept that and go you know that's great and, and maybe that's what they expect everybody else to be happening as well. Just monitoring it just slightly closer than possibly than, than you would with, uh, with, with somebody who's not in that situation. We do have examples of where we have meetings within school and it might be health driven yeah. um, or carer driven for the parents and things like that. So yeah we incorporate health and education. We often have meetings held here in school um, around the child that's got full range of um, external support services. What we've also got is a school counsellor. So we're very fortunate that a lot of information um, is confidential meetings go on there but if it's deemed um, you know, a child protection issue, that information might come out from the school council saying you know, there needs to be support put in place for this individual. You know, can you get some agency support there? So um, you know, we are fortunate that if the information doesn't come from staff, doesn't come from the youth service or these external agencies, we have got a school councillor with us as well to support. Mm -hmm.